So there's some concern now that food being labeled as healthy might actually not be as healthy as we thought. So one company being forced to yank its product from shelves for putting that term on its packaging. We're talking about kind fruit and nut bars, apparently not meeting the FDA standards of healthy. This is now prompting the question, what is healthy, Dr. Samadhi, and how much stock should we put into those labels? Well, it's important to pay attention to the labels, but we also have to be careful because when you talk about Mediterranean diet on this show, and we're a true believer of that diet, and I try to obey by this. So you saw the dark chocolate, you saw the almond, you saw the nuts that are always good. The problem with some of these bars is that they have too much fat in them, and you just can't find it in the labels, or it's hard for people to see. If it's over three grams of fat in one of those, then it's not healthy. So why don't we stick to the Mediterranean diet, the whole pyramid, where on top of the pyramid you have the red meat, which you should have very little of this, but as you come further down, that's when you have your fruits and vegetables and red wine and legumes and salmon and sardines and on and on and on, which is absolutely great. Now, why do I believe that? This is not because I like Mediterranean, even though I'm from that part of the world, I think it's a good thing, but um, study after study, in fact, two years ago, we presented this on Sunday House Call, New England Journal of Medicine, 12,000 people went on this Mediterranean diet, and they stopped the study in the middle of the whole thing said that this is reducing by the risk of stroke by 30%, and this broke the news, everyone followed it. We know that it reduces your C-reactive protein, Dr. Sean. We know that it reduces homocysteine. Dr. For, Sean? Well, because he loves C-reactive protein. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. you got to so explain what C-reactive protein is it reduces and why it. everyone at home should go ask their doctor about C-reactive protein. It's a sign of inflammation, and okay. inflammation leads to chronic disease and cancer and okay. heart disease. So when you have Mediterranean diet, you reduce inflammation. And I've also convinced Dr. Siegel to start drinking coffee, and we're all healthy. Yeah, but so what about, you know, what about that. these bars? I mean, you go... Uh, these kind bars are very popular in the Sean household. I mean, you don't go for a chocolate bar. Eric, you know, how do you Eric, know when you, it's, it's good for you? Let me tell you why I think this problem is happening and, and what I think the answer is. It's because if it's not processed food, like if you eat salmon or you eat nuts, you eat olives, mm -hmm. you eat uh, avocados, which we love on this show, mm -hmm. if it's not processed, if no company has gotten a hold of it and added additives to it, you know what? You can't write the word healthy on it. But if you process it, then the FDA holds you to certain standards wow. and says, if you have more than three grams of fat in there, we're not going to let you call it healthy. I personally view it this way. I personally, as a physician, don't care whether it says healthy on it or not. What I want people out there to know is that olives are healthy, that salmon is healthy, olive oil. that nuts are healthy, that olive oil is healthy, that avocados are healthy, nuts, tree nuts are great for you. But I want to warn you, if they add a lot of salt to it. Now look, when you go to eat olives in the <laughs> store, Eric, that you may have a, a, a bunch of brine in there that's loaded with salt. I want people out there to be aware of it. What did they add to that great olive okay. to get it to the shelf? So that's the, the bottom line is when you go pick up one, any bar, if it's got more than three grams of fat, you're saying... It's not I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm okay with three grams because it's unsaturated fats, and oh, we love wow. unsaturated fats. What I'm saying is, if it's loaded with salt and it's loaded okay. with processed well, food, you want to be then, uh, then you I want to be careful. careful with the labels because they're there to sell it. It's part, right. of, part of the labeling, right. and it's your job to find out what's good for you or not. That's I like unsaturated fats. So if it's got monounsaturated fats or polyunsaturated fats like fish, like nuts, like olives, that's good. I'd say we go all go out for some grilled sardines. <laughs> all right, that's a deal. Uh, well, we're